Hey y'all, it's Matt from TPSTool.com. I've got an example here for some older motors. Uh, this one is from a 2007 Ranger 700, but this was used on motors from 2005 to 2014 or so. Uh, some Rangers, Sportsman, Razors, X2s. Um, the Polaris part number for this one is, let's see, 1202836. So if your motor uses that part number for the throttle body, it'll be this exactly. But a lot of the uh, older motors use one very similar. So this, this video actually applies to some that are similar, but even if they're not exactly this part. The big difference being uh, the older motors don't have an idle air control valve. Uh, the newer motors do. This is one of the newer styles. So what that does is on the newer ones, there is an idle screw. Uh, actually, there's a screw you're not supposed to touch. And the manual tells you very clearly, don't touch it. Well, on these older models, you actually do touch that. That's part of the adjustment, okay? And we're going to go over that And let's see. It's hard to see through the camera. There's the screw. And uh, that's the pin that holds the throttle open. And so on these older older engines, that's actually part of the adjustment. On the newer ones, the, the ECU controls the idle using this guy. It's called the idle air control valve. And you can see there's a hole here. Get my pointer. There's a hole here where the air goes in and bypasses the throttle plate and comes out here. And this is the valve in between that controls the air. So if the engine, the ECU wants the idle to be up or down, they'll use this valve to control how much air goes through. So on these new ones, you set just one value. Don't touch anything else. The older ones don't have that valve, so you have uh, two settings. The first one is called the base setting. They also call it the zero off setting in the manual. All that means is you close the throttle plate fully by backing the screw out, okay? Then you set one value, and on this one it's 0.528. Then, after you set the TPS with the plate fully closed, then you turn the idle up until you get to the second reading, which is 0 0.710 for this one. Uh, that Those values change, in particular the idle setting changes between models and between years. So be sure you look up your year if you're gonna, gonna set your throttle body. We have a chart now online on our website with many common settings. Uh, please check there if you don't have the manual. Uh, and we also have a form there you can request settings for a motor if you don't see it on the list. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use our Pro Power meter from tpstool.com. The meter comes with a whole bunch of different adapters. We're going to use the number two adapter, which is this triangular one. Let's set these aside. And on top of the meter, we're going to wire it this way. We're going to have uh, black in ground, red in FB or feedback, and green in 5 volts. And the reason we do this is many different motors will use the same plug, but they'll actually be wired differently. So doing it this way allows us to use the same uh, same meter for many, many different motors. Makes it really flexible. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plug this in. Turn it on. Now in a perfect world, this would read 0.710, but it doesn't. It reads 0.69, so we're off. So the very first thing we're going to do is set the base value, also called the zero offset, by backing this screw out all the way. Where did we go? There we go. And then we're going to set the throttle position sensor once that's backed out. Now this is a D-shaped screw. Um, Polaris does have a part number for it, for the driver for it. I could not find one. I tried to buy one. I don't know if they're available some secret place somewhere. If you can find one, buy it. But you can also use a pair of pliers if you're careful. So I'm going to back that out until these numbers stop changing. And then at that point, you'll also see a gap here. That's how you can check. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. So the numbers have stopped changing, and if you look carefully, you can see, let's see, here's the throttle cam, and right here is that screw, and uh, hopefully you can see there's a gap there, so that's no longer holding the throttle open. And now if your throttle body is very dirty, if there's a lot of carbon in here, you're going to want to clean that so that the throttle plate closes fully, okay? So we're going to just snap it closed a little bit a couple times, make sure it's closed all the way. Now we should be reading 0.528, and we're not reading 0.510. That's a little bit low. So you need a Torx, number T25, for this. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to loosen this screw and rotate the sensor. So we loosen that screw a little bit, and then as I rotate the sensor, notice the number's changing as I rotate it. Okay, so we're going to shoot for 0.528. This is a, just a demo video, so I'm going to get it close, but if it's not precise, that's going to be okay for here. Okay, and when you tighten the screw, it's probably going to change a little bit, so you need to kind of uh, predict that. Okay, the, the, the 
proper values, 0 0.528, 0 0.525 is so close, honestly, that's good enough. So now we're going to leave it there. Next step is just to turn up the idle until we read 0 0.710. So we're going to go back to our screw, and we're going to wish that we had that tool. There we go. And we're going to turn it, turn the idle up until this reads 0.710. Almost there. There we go. All right, and that's all there is to it. Okay, if we want to check that this throttle position sensor is working properly, we're going to slowly open and close the throttle and watch the numbers. If they change smoothly with no jumping around, then the throttle position sensor is good. If they jump up and down or go to zero or anything like that, then the throttle position sensor is bad. So you're going to open it all the way. There we go, full throttle, 3.65. We're going to go right back down. This is changing smoothly, so this is a good sensor. There we go. And it's a little high, but there we go. Snap it a couple times, make sure it closes fully, 710. So that's all there is to it. Just back the idle out all the way, set the base value or zero offset, then you turn the idle up until it's at the proper reading, and all done. I hope this helps. If this helps someone, please uh, click like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, check our website. We've got a chart now of um, common settings, and if you need a setting that's not in the chart, then please leave a comment uh, or send us a message. There's a form on the page you can send us a message, and we'll try and look up your, your motor and, and do our best to get a value for you. And thank you very much.